Oh man, morning after finishing planting and I come to the farm here. It is, uh, come on, what time is it? Phone's locked up. 9.40. Slept in a little bit. Feels good. It's Monday morning. And then I see what happened here. Doug was supposed to unhook the 64 foot digger so Randy could hook the sulfur up and looks like he was in a bit of a hurry because the, the jack is still there and the hitch is on the ground. Shouldn't the, shouldn't that be holding that up? Doug No comment? Oh, there'll be a comment. Please comment below. So it looks like the rain is starting to move in also, or it's starting to get really, really dark blue out to the west. Big Swede is finishing up what I planted last night, plus doing some custom land rolling. We do custom land rolling for a couple of guys. So he's tying up the loose ends right now before the rain, hopefully. That's what's going on this morning. Let's see if anyone else is here. Hey, Grandpa. Mail. He's getting the mail. Looks like Dad's here, but Randy is not yet. Unless they're driving around, because that's what farmers do when it's raining or you're done planting and tired is you just drive around and look at all the work that you've done, which is good. We do like that. I really enjoy doing that. I hope they didn't leave me. Hey. Yes, hello. Hey, um, yeah. I looked in our maintenance books and the 450 had a thermostat and 600 number two had a thermostat last fall and number one 600 has not had anything done to it. Never ever. No. Huh. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's the thermostat. Yeah, I'll maybe call Graceville and see what they think. Yep. Because all I did, I talked to, what is it, Kevin, the service manager yesterday. So I'll talk to a mechanic. Okay. Just got going on fishers a little bit ago. Okay. Well, yeah, I think it's my radar shows 2 o'clock rain. Mellow time. Boy, I tell you what, when uh, your body can do some amazing things when you're in the heat of the battle, meaning you can run a long time on adrenaline, and that may sound unrealistic, but you can literally run hours that you thought that you never would, and it don't seem nearly as bad when you're doing it until you finish or it rains and that adrenaline stops because your mind knows that you don't have to keep going. And boy, it is like flipping a light switch on or turning a light switch off, I guess I should say, because it's like night-night. So I got the ambition now of a ant. Well, actually, they're pretty ambitious. Sloth. There we go. I feel like a sloth. I should just go back to bed and sleep for all day. But it's time to address all of the damages that the spring has caused upon equipment. I gotta go check some oil on some tractors and see how neglected that has been. Get a 600 quad track maybe in here. Talk to a mechanic to see if it's a thermostat or what's going on. But I'm willing to bet that it's thermostat being that both other quad tracks have had thermostats and that one has not. I'm gonna assume that that's the problem, which is too costly. I think it's, I shouldn't say, but I think it's like $400 for a thermostat or 300. It's not just the little old school thermostat, it's the whole housing and everything. I did one of them, Case did the other one. It's not a hard job at all. Just have to drain off like 12 gallons of antifreeze. Anyways, enough talking. We're just gonna grab the whole jug. I suppose I need a funnel. You know, normally when everyone gets tired and really ran down, you start getting irritated and snappy at each other and start having some arguments. The spring was great for that. Never had any. It was uh, smooth, I would like to say. Everything worked good. No one really had any blow-ups or temper tantrums. <laughs> Went really good. I'm really amazed. I'm very fortunate, very glad that that didn't happen. That makes a tired, unfortunate situation even worse. Man, this thing needs a bath. That fertilizer gets on it so terrible. So terrible. The uh, 
hood cylinders are shot. Oh, it's still above the ad. Thank you for not falling down and hurting me. Scare the heck out of me. That'll be a fun instant replay. I might just call Cat right now and get uh, new hood cylinders. She's full. Irritating sucker! This ain't even to hold the hood up. This is for the radiator. Hold the radiator out for maintenance reasons. Okay, kitty cat, your oil is good. Eric and my brother-in-law got me into these flashlights. It's a Streamlight flashlight. Somewhat expensive, but man, is it nice. I'm gonna buy this belt holder. I'll put the link from Amazon in the description below if you're looking for a new flashlight. Oh man, that stinks like that dang instinct crap that goes on the dry fertilizer to kill the micro. Why is that open, Eric? Let's turn the battery kill switch off. You might ask, how come you're checking all the oils after you're done? Well, because I'm checking up on seeing how well the hired guys check the oil. We tell them to, but do they? So far I haven't found anything low. Nothing below the ad mark. So that's good. The quad tracks, they really don't use oil, so they don't get checked very often. That thing doesn't use a bit of oil. The tracks, they use oil. The floater normally uses quite a bit of oil, and that is pretty good and then also the 8520 since we pulled it so hard all year that used quite a bit of oil also but dad was keeping track of that right here's the lid Like that ancient jar right there. Does that bring you back to the 50s? Should. Everyone gets told, do not break this because you can't buy them anymore that I know of. Don't break it. I have to remind myself of that too because it gets really slippery and you could drop it. So to a lot of people, what I'm adding might look like a lot of oil. This is two quarts, half a gallon. It was halfway down. When it's on add, it normally means add a gallon. That sounds like a lot of oil to, I suppose, a car owner, which it is to a car. But a lot of these tractors will hold anywhere from 8 to 12 gallons of oil. With that being said, a half a gallon to a gallon, when you're talking that much, is not that much. It's like being on a vehicle where your car maybe holds a gallon or a little over a gallon or whatever. It's like adding one quart. That ratio is pretty much the same. So this one's good too. Huh, pretty good. Another two quarts needed. I'm really satisfied. Should trust the guys. I should just trust them. But it's one of them deals, if you aren't doing it yourself, you don't know if they're doing it or not. So that brings us to our next project, which would be the Bobcat skid loader. We uh, busted up our uh, pin that holds the cylinder for the curl bucket, curl bucket cylinder. See what happened is it ended up snapping off this piece. I don't know where the old parts are to show you, but it ended up busting this off, I guess. 
and breaking this bolt. So we'll go show you once I get the tools here what I'm talking about. Yes. Impact gun's gone. Where are all the tools at? Somebody's been robbing me. It's in some piece of equipment somewhere. We also bought an extra one. This is $60. I don't know what this bolt costs. I suppose eight, 10 bucks, but it's the second time that this has happened. So we're actually gonna have one on hand. We didn't break this piece the last time, but the bolt broke. But now this piece is busted, so we're gonna have it all on hand just because that was really inconvenient when it broke and pretty much shut down one of the diggers because if you're in a really rocky field, you need two rock pickers, one rock picker per digger. Bobcat goes down, you lose your main rock picking device. Bet you there's an impact gun in here. There we go. I know that's in there because I put that one in there. No one knows where it's at. I hit it. I hit it in there. It's not the good impact gun though. Looks like someone's been here working on it. Here it is. Here's the old busted piece. There's the bolt that snapped literally clean in half. There's the pin that's busted. This is what actually is the strength of the whole design. New versus old. So that's done. Junk. Junk. Hey, look it. <laughs> there it is. Found the good impact gun. <laughs> So basically all that this bolt does is hold this piece in. This is the piece that takes all the weight and the torque. Oh no. Oh no. I see the second half of the problem. It's still in there. Gotta get more tools. Seems to be squeezed in there pretty good. There's the second half. Okay, this goes in like that. I think it's in and grease so this should be fixed up again sweet that didn't take long the five minute fix that's why we're gonna have parts on hand because if it happens again you just run down with the service truck in theory and uh, just do what I just did five minutes you're back up and running that was supposed to be uh, fancy just looking up the uh, guy that sent me this as you can see he's hand carved our logo into it and handmade the whole thing. So I'm just checking on Instagram, looking him up. So I can give him a shout out on Instagram for it because I really appreciate it. That is, that's awesome. I love that. Now it's just to figure out where to hang it. Hashtag America. So I am working on getting a uh, PO box set up. So if anyone wants to send stuff, not that I expect to be sent stuff, but a lot of people have asked for addresses and I don't, I'm not gonna give out my address, my personal address, just because of uh, security reasons. But I really appreciate that. That's, that's super nice, super sweet. Definitely didn't have to, but he did. He wanted to, so that's awesome. Okay, gotta go get a quad track unhooked and I'm gonna bring it in the shop or closer to the shop so we can address the situation of why it was overheating yesterday, which I suppose it's gonna be kind of hard for not using it to get it to heat, but I don't know. I was told to unhook it, so I'm, I'm going to unhook it. That's what I'm doing. Which, which one was it? I think it was this one. So to put the hanger on, you have to unfold this thing because one time when we were out with it, it got a lot of mud on top of it and we raised it up. No, we were folding it. Yeah, we were folding it up and the left hand cylinder on the main frame 
curled right into a circle. We replaced the cylinder, but I don't know if we didn't bleed the system right or if something else got wrecked because it does not, if it sits, it settles to the left now and you have to unfold it, get the weight off the mainframe and just sit and cycle it a few times and then it comes back into the way it's supposed to work. It's very annoying. And also to get the hanger on, it's a pain in the butt because of the same reason. But this thing was out yesterday and I was super impressed with the seed bed that it sets up. They dug the field first, but it was that uh, field that we combined that was totally flat. Had that Kelderman corn reel out there. If you want to watch the video of me combining flat corn last fall, it's called Kelderman corn reel, something like that. A lot of trash left out there just due to I couldn't get it all in the combine and a lot of the stocks that went through the combine still were full length. So they dug the field and they had trouble with the, the field cultivators there plugging and so they did what they could with the diggers and then they went out and cut it up with this thing which it, I was impressed. I was impressed. It made a beautiful seed bed. I really like this outfit. Probably should grease these things too. It's the only inconvenient part about uh, vertical tillage tools is that you have to uh, grease them where a lot of the other you know like a digger all you do is grease the up down mechanism the hanger is on and what we mean by the hanger is those pins you just seen me put in I can now put the hydraulic system in float which means release all the pressure off of it and it will not settle to the ground it's also a safety feature if you're working under it if you so choose to suggested to put them in I guess okay now I'll put her in float which is dead ahead, lock it in. Now there's no pressure, in theory, in the hydraulic hoses, so they come unhooked really easy now. See now, if, if you were Duggo, you'd just pull away without putting the jack down. Like what I did there, Dad? Also the tractor that we have our tile plow, mounted Wayne's tile plow is what we put on this thing. And since it's such an early spring, our hopes is to go out, do some tiling possibly, and uh, then get some early day beans and go out there, do the tile project in the planted fields, and then in theory, level it all back off, get some early maturity beans, then we can replant those spots is the hope. So I'm gonna put the quad track in the old shop. Pretty much will fill it up, but the big shop's all full of equipment. Look who showed up again. And we're back to feeding frenzy. It's not so appetizing to eat at two in the morning when you're so tired. Ooh. I gotta go pick up the big Swede so he can come eat. He's done uh, land rolling, so I gotta go get him. And uh, you're gonna go set up a P.O. box so that these people can send you love letters. Yep, me love letters, not you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not as pretty as you. Oh, I was trying to suck up because I'm doing most of the work again. Man, why are you stretching like you're tired? You've been sleeping 10 hours a night, haven't you? Not 10. All right, I gotta go get the baby Swede. I'm out of here. Yeah, it's filthy.
garage just filthy. Burning corn stalks that uh, drifted off of the fields into the road ditches. Isn't that crazy? Doing it for the gram? I have to now. <laughs> oh, I lost my eyebrows. Did you? You didn't have any to begin with. Well, they're just blonde. <laughs> Nice sprayer. I could put out a city block with this. This beats farming. This is enjoyable. Oh, as long as everything stays under control. basically just stopping the fire so it don't go any farther up our landlord's driveway here that I'm literally about 100 yards away from so I'd hate not to burn his yard up don't think that would go good but it's under control might have to wait for a different wind direction to do the other side of the road because it is actually if you have the right wind direction it will go across your field it'll just keep jumping from corn stock to corn stock so yeah gotta be smart about fire no doubt about it. Make sure this is good and out here because I don't want it. I don't want any surprises, let's just say that. So we have a lot of these uh, road ditches and spots that we're gonna have to burn off after that wind that you've seen in the last couple videos. It's just been terribly windy here. Blows all the corn stalks off, especially after you land roll, so you gotta clean it up. Otherwise your crop don't grow through that and it fills road ditches up. It's not pretty. My hair is unbelievably bad. <laughs> <laughs> 